Hello everyone, this is John Chen. A lot of great things have happened since Blackfish debuted at the Sundance Film Festival. As many of you know, SeaWorld recently announced that they were ending captive breeding of their killer whales. This is definitely a step in the right direction, and you, the public, made this happen. You voted with your wallets, and fortunately, SeaWorld seems to be listening. On behalf of all the former trainers in Blackfish, I thank you for this. I really can't believe it's been three years since Blackfish was released. In many ways, it feels like it was just yesterday we were sitting down, being interviewed by Gabriella, and not really knowing what the film was was going to turn into. Gabby, how's it going? So far, um, Jeff Ventry is knocking it out of the frickin' marine park. I'm here on this, in front of this uh, stagnant body of water that used to be the Columbia River. Uh, to make a point and also to say thank you. I'm honored to be a, a part of the Blackfish cast. The movie has truly become a worldwide phenomenon. Uh, some of us are just happy that SeaWorld didn't decide to come after us legally because that was certainly um, on the back, in the back of our minds. One of the things that really impressed me about the film is what Gabriella, the director, did. She, by having the former SeaWorld trainers narrate the film, you basically get to see our inner transformation about how we feel about captivity and you can watch as we change and our attitudes change. Um, when you're watching the film with an audience, it's very clear that the audience is, is experiencing a very similar sea change. I have to admit, I, I always laugh when I think back to uh, what we were told was SeaWorld's initial reaction to Blackfish and that was basically to blow it off as a little movie that's not going to be seen by anyone. Uh, that they really didn't have to worry about. Um. <laughs> I've heard estimates anywhere from 65 to 150 million people have seen the film, but that doesn't tell the whole story. This story has penetrated deeply, and evidence of that penetration is seen with the outrage after Harambe the gorilla was shot and killed, um, after Cecil the lion was, was shot and killed, the outrage that has Amp been amplified over the, uh, the cull of dolphins at Taiji, Japan, has been amplified. And in general, people are using blackfish as a portal to conservation and activism. I think the recently announced Whale Sanctuary Project is really exciting. With the development of sanctuary spaces, I think there's just going to be no more excuses for keeping currently captive orcas in tanks really big thing we have to push with the sea sanctuaries too is the uh, true benefit of giving these animals more room. Um, obviously they all can't be released back out to the wild, uh, but getting them into a sea sanctuary will give them that space that they need. Um, and of course uh, the other benefits of being out in the ocean and hearing the ocean and feeling the ocean. A lot of people ask me, what can I do? You know, after they see this film, they really like what Luis Sequoia says. What are you good at? Do that. So if you happen to be good at posting on social media, do that. If you're a writer, write about it. If you're a dancer, you know, bring that into your art. Talk to people about it. Whatever you can do to get the message out, that's what's important. You just talk about it. You can't help but open your heart when you see this movie. You just can't help it. And when you start to think about the lives of the killer whales and the kind of suffering that they go through in captivity, then you start to think about what their lives would be like in the ocean. And then you start thinking about the ocean and pretty soon you're out there as, a, as an activist. <laughs> Some part of you gets activated and you want to do something not only to make these lives, uh, make the lives of the animals in captivity better, but you also want to do something about their habitat and about the planet. It became really clear that SeaWorld had been controlling the narrative on captivity and whales and dolphins being used in entertainment for about 50 years. And my background is in advertising and branding, and I really wanted to help 
him and the other whistleblowers come up with a counter narrative to what's to the story that SeaWorld had been telling. Um, Blackfish has proven to be a gateway for conservation, takeoff point for a lot of people, including myself. I now have altered the way that I shop and the food that I put in my body. I want to make sure that everything I eat is collected or harvested sustainably. Um, I've learned a lot about things like trophy hunting and factory farming and shark finning and ocean acidification. SeaWorld Fact Check, another great uh, website that was started uh, by a lot of you guys out there and uh, a lot of contributors to that. Uh, it gives people the real facts, the real facts of what is actually going on out there. Um, all the hard work by VOCA and the list goes on and on. Uh, again, very proud to know you guys and to be part of SuperPod. Um, I hope this uh, keeps going for a long time. Youth involvement in activism has the potential to make huge changes going forward. There's something that has happened to get the issue traction, and that is this movement in social media. It's decentralized. Nobody told anybody what to do. Curriculums have been developed uh, for all grade levels. You know, Blackfish has given me the opportunity to travel around, to give talks at universities and various forums. And I walk away both humbled and encouraged by knowing that there's so many great people in the world trying to do good things. I have an eight-year-old daughter, and it gives me encouragement to know that there are so many terrific people in the world. It seems to make her future just a little bit brighter. So once again, I thank you for this.